All right, you little fifth graders, it is time for us to move along here with our title rules. Remember, there are five things we've got to memorize, five titles that we underline or put in italics. And there are five that we must put in quotation marks. You need to be studying your notes every single day and memorizing those 10 things. So that you're able to do your work, so that you're able to pass your test. Because we're going to spend two weeks on this, then after that, you're on your own. So, let's practice. Let's go through each sentence, and then after this practice, you'll do your assignment. Number one, while waiting in the waiting room, Ty read the article, How to Cheat Without Getting Caught. So look at this sentence. You can see that the sentence tells you it is an article. That's easy to figure out. And here's the title of the article. See all these capital letter words? That's the name of the article. Now, i got to figure out what do I do to an article. Now, you say it out loud. What do I do to this title? Do I underline it or italics? Or do I put it in quotation marks? Say it out loud. The answer is, I put it in quotation marks. How to cheat without getting caught. Articles are placed in quotation marks. All right, number two. Noah has been reading the book, I Ate Too Many Beans. So i got to find the title. The title is, I Ate Too Many Beans. And the sentence tells me it is a book. Now, what do I do to a book? Underline italics. Or, quotation marks, say it out loud. Excellent. I place this in italics, like that. Or, if I were writing this sentence with a pencil or pen, it would be underlined like that. Now, in your work, I'll accept either answer, whichever one you want to do. Number three, Kobe gets the newspaper, The Daily Nonsense. So I got to find the title. The title is The Daily Nonsense. And the sentence tells me it is a newspaper. So now I must decide what do I do to titles of newspapers. Say it out loud. Excellent. The Daily Nonsense. I underline newspapers or put in italics. Newspapers are part of that group of underline or italics. Number four, that poem was written by T. Asia. It is titled, Someone Please Kill Math. So obviously this is a poem and it tells you what the title is. Someone Please Kill Math. Now you've got to answer the question, what do I do? to titles of poems. What will I do to this poem? Say it out loud. Wonder bar. I put it in quotation marks. Poems must go in quotation marks. Number five. Markevious was in the movie. She did not pick me. This is a movie. Here's the title. What must I do to the title, She Did Not Pick Me? Say it out loud. Excellent. Movie titles are underlined or placed in italics. This time I want to show you italics. See how it slants. Number six. The magazine, Fifth Grade Failures has a list of students who failed the Georgia Milestone. So it says it's a magazine, and then it gives you the title right here, Fifth Grade Failures. Now you got to decide, what do I do to titles of magazines? Quotation marks or underline italics? Say it out loud. 
not bad at all. Fifth grade failures should be underlined or placed in italics. Number seven. The number one song in the nation right now is Marcus Repeated Fifth Grade. So this tells you right here, it is a song. And then it gives you the title of the song. Marcus Repeated Fifth Grade. Now you must decide, what do I do to that title? Say it out loud. Excellent. You must place it in Quotation marks. Marcus repeated fifth grade. Number eight. Beth Ann, you need to try out for the play, The Baton Fell on My Head. So it tells you right here, this sentence is about a play. And the title of it is, The Baton Fell on My Head. Now you got to decide, do I underline or place in italics or... Is it something that I would place in quotation marks for a play? Say it out loud. Good. Underline, the baton fell on my head. Or italics is fine. Chapter 9, Kaylee skipped school yesterday, was very boring. So this tells you right here we're talking about a chapter. And here's the title of the chapter. Now, what do I do to chapters? Underline italics or quotation marks. Say it out loud. Well done. Kaylee skipped school yesterday. Should be placed in quotation marks. Chapters are in the quotation mark group. And last but not least, number 10. Karma has to read the story, Raw Beef Liver for Breakfast. So here's my title of the story, Raw Beef Liver for Breakfast. Now, what must I do to that title of a story? Say it out loud. Excellent. Stories are placed in quotation marks. There you have it, little fifth graders. All 10 of the things you are to memorize, we've just practiced. And we're going to try to practice every day. And you'll have an assignment every day. But you've got to memorize those five things. And I showed you exactly how to do your assignment for today. So if you don't do it right, I'll know that you didn't pay attention or even watch this video. And that hurts my feelings.